events. When to participate in them and when not to. One of the easiest ones and hardest ones to do is officer shards and officer experience. And this one here is officer experience. The only problem with this one is it is a who can spend the most. A few minutes ago, one of these guys was at, um, oh no, the egg guy was at 1.3 million, and this uh, Jace guy went from somewhere up to 1.7 million experience spent. Uh, most likely he spent money, um, got the master officer package, where it gives shards and experience. So, in this one here, you're competing against everybody. And rank 25 is somewhere below 200,000. Uh, yeah. Two, almost 300,000 is rank 25. Um, at the most I've ever had an experience to spend on my officers that I've saved up from events or daily missions and so on was 225,000. So in this event, I already can't complete it. But the ones where you have the milestones for both officer experience and officer shards with this daily XP event or daily shard event, uh, the milestone ones are easier to do. 200,000, if it doesn't get you the, the, the final tier, you're one tier below it. So I would avoid the limited time officer event where you're competing against everybody and you're going for rank and not mile markers or, you know, milestone achievements. Because uh, this one here, whoever's spending the most, sets the milestone marker. Uh, sort of like your research events. When do you do your research? If the event's not here, I wouldn't do research. Uh, and I think it's with starting. What am I saying? Com uh, complete researches. I think it's actually when you pay to start it, and that's when you'll make these points. Uh, not so much the completion, because the completion could be four days after the event, or after you started the thing. Um, sort of like the Federation reputation, again, this one's a milestone. Once you hit so many points that you spent, or, or yeah, resources spent, you hit that point. Uh, and that's the officer shard and the officer experience you should be focusing on. Uh, not so much the milestones unless you have a lot of money to spend or something else. Um, some of these events like the threat reduction, which is based on swarms. You have your daily goals. So these are where you can start these when you need to do your daily goal. And if... Um, and since 20 hours, we'll put it after the reset for the daily goals. You can actually work on two days during that time and complete it for both, technically all three, the two days of missions, or I'm sorry, two days of daily goals. So that one is in 20 hours. This one here is in eight hours. So in eight hours, I can complete what I can for the swarms. That'll complete this portion and it'll complete the event or go towards completing the event and then right when it resets into the next day I can start working on it on the next day that and complete tomorrow's goals and still continue to apply that towards that daily event to get the, uh, the marker for it so those are things you need to think about uh, when to do them so that way you don't have to try and do the entire event of swarms by constantly going out. Hey, I could wait six hours and get into the next day, do it again. And I complete two days, and they both apply towards that singular event. Uh, those are things you want to consider. And it looks like, yeah, we're in the middle of the flash event, which I'm repairing ships, so I can't participate in the flash event. Because uh, when I went to do my daily swarms, it was around lunchtime, and some guy from Rose blew up both of my ships as soon as they hit the swarm area. So again, when you get into your events, 
when to spend those uh, points, when to do the actual physical recruitment here, especially if you're going for shards. I wouldn't spend the shards, you know, or spend the recruit tickets to gain the shards if I don't have a shard-based events, which is, you know, so many shards goes towards uh, an officer. Uh, so if that event is not happening or if that thing is not participating at that moment, don't spend shards. And I don't spend experience unless that experience where, again, it's the milestone marker is not competing against everyone on the server. I hope that kind of information helps you out when you plan your events.